All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways you can color your line art and procreate. First, you wanna grab an image. Um, it could be literally anything for this demonstration. Um, this is a picture I drew of SpongeBob. Um, it was a little Posca marker drawing. Um, just like as a proof of concept, I can show you guys really quick. This is what it is. I decided just to translate it over into Procreate. So the goal here is to take this image outline it in black, and then show you three different ways you can color your line art. So I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse, and after that, we can get started. Okay, now that we have our outline, we can start with the first coloring method. Um, so the first one I wanna show is alpha locking. And how to alpha lock an image, you just take um, whatever layer you wanna use and you want to slide it to the left, the two fingers. So two finger slide will alpha lock it, it will turn it on, you do that, it'll turn it off, or you can click the layer and you can select alpha lock. Same gesture. Um, You'll know when it's alpha locked because you'll see this gray, this two-tone gray checker pattern behind your image. And that'll let you know when it's alpha locked. When it's alpha locked, everything that is black, literally your black outlines, will change color dependent on the colors you add to it. I know that might sound confusing. Let me explain. Or let me show you to help you understand it a little bit better if you don't understand. So um we know this image is red if we were to turn this all the way up we see that the outlines are red and they're not black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this off turn our layer back on turn that completely off and then i'm going to find a dark tone red orange is red about right there ah, let's make it a little darker and then i'm going to take you can use any brush to literally fill this in let's do the soft airbrush and then let's make our brush really big. So I say like 15. And what's gonna happen is as I scribble through or if I scrub through the image, it's gonna turn this color red. So watch. Boom. So here you have it. We now have a red outline image. So you can literally do that with anything. Um, it, it just really depends on the layer that you're using. Now this is a quick um, coloring method. Do I use this method all the time? No. Do I recommend it? Of course. There's always different ways you can use um, the coloring capabilities within Procreate. So, so now our second method uh, of coloring or second step we can use to color is to literally drop the color in there. Now um, this works depending on your pace, your process of how you'd like to design, it really depends on you. Like all these methods I'm, I'm showing you right now, there's nothing wrong with neither one of them. There's things I prefer over the other, but my job right now is to show you all, well, some of the capabilities of coloring line are appropriate. So how this works for the, the coloring portion, you want to put the color you have and just simply drag it into your line art. Cool. So there's perks to this. There's good and there's bad. Um, I'll start with the bad. <laughs> the, uh, the the reason why I wouldn't use this method over all the other ones or the other methods I, I'm going to explain is that this is now permanently part of your or line art. So you really can't manipulate the colors the way you want to because everything else will be affected at the same time. Um, 
you know so it's best that you separate your colors from your line art so having your line art layer and your color layer you want to have it completely separate i'm going to kind of go through the method so you can fully see it in action here you notice like now i'm adding these colors in there and also one thing i recommend whenever you're dragging colors from the color picker to your line art please make sure that your lines your line segments not sorry line segments but your line sections or sections are closed off because if they're not it's going to completely bleed over it's like having a hole in the cup you pour it in the cup this hole in it, it's all going to leak out so make sure your container is solid and everything is connected because if you don't i'm going to give an example i'm going to erase this real quick so now that you know everything is on one layer I'm just going to erase it it's going to come it's going to work within the line art and within the, the actual color fill i'm going to try to only fill this small section but like i mentioned if there's a hole in it all you know your whole artboard is going to turn that color that you drag so to prevent that i highly recommend you just you know have all your lines closed off and it'll be easier for you to kind of operate all right so far so i've explained two quick methods of how you can color your line art um the first one is alpha locking which is taking your image or your line art sliding your layer to the left and what it does is build that container where you can only color that line art specifically um that won't affect anything else in the artboard um the second method was the color picker method which is like dragging the colors into your image it's kind of like coloring in the solid piece and then the third method which happens to be my favorite method and i think it's the most logical method you can have when it comes to line art and coloring is using reference layers now what i'm going to do is i'm going to undo all of this so we no longer have to see that all right now we're back to our red outline so now we're going to click the layer and then you'll see this small drop down option called reference so what the reference layer is supposed to do it's supposed to develop this invisible container so whenever you drag color into an image it's only going to react to the outline i know that might sound weird it might sound like javon what are you talking about but i'm going to show you better than me telling you i think i, I think that's the best thing for me to do <laughs> so what you're going to do here our reference layer is selected we're then going to hit plus let's drag our third layer this is going to be considered our um let's rename this and let's call it color and then we're going to go here and let's rename this and call it line so now we have color line and then this is just uh inspiration so with the reference layer we now have this layer our color layer and our inspiration layer before we used to drag the, the color into the image and it used to affect just one layer the line layer is not affected but only the color layer is affected that's where our container is made so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to drag the image or the color into the image and boom the same type of look and feel you know same stuff we're not changing it up completely. But now I can manipulate that color. I can turn it on and off and my line layer is not affected. So that's the best method because it allows you to keep your line, line art completely separate from your colors. And then you can change, manipulate, do whatever you wanna do. Say if I wanna turn this brown or say if I wanna turn this blue, I can make that change without my line art being affected. So now that we kind of understand um, a little bit about reference layers alpha locking and um, color picking or color drop i'm going to use all three at once to kind of show you the final product um, so stay tuned for that
right, so here's the final product. So I was able to use all three of the methods that I showed you before, um, alpha lock, the color drag method or the color picker method and reference layers. Um, of course, I put my own creative spin on it. You know, you wanna be unique in your own right when it comes to illustrating or designing in general. So, you know, I added some, some little like explosions or fire explosions in the background just to make it look interesting and cool. I added some noise over um, the image to give it a little bit more texture so it doesn't feel too flat. Um, um, I don't expect anyone to be an expert. Um, and there's probably things that I've missed throughout this whole process that I need to like reiterate or you know go back to so I can understand a little bit better. But I think for the mission and the, the goal of this video was to kind of show you the opportunities you can have with this, with, um, with the methods. I think um, we, had, we achieved that. Uh, trust me, if you guys have any questions or you're confused or if I went too fast or something doesn't make sense, please feel free to, you know, drop a comment asking these questions. I usually answer every question that I see. Um, so I don't want you guys to feel lost because that's not the goal. I don't want you to feel like you can't do this or become discouraged because of the way it looks or something that I've missed throughout the process. But if you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be super grateful for that. Um, it helps push the video and the algorithm to, you know, hopefully encourage other people to view this video and it can grab the attention of other people who are curious about um, coloring their work and procreate. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, feel free to do that as well. There's no pressure for neither one. I just want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the, uh, the content that I release. And so thank you again for sticking around. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you all. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.